the director of Morbius has been making the rounds talking about the bigger Spider-Verse, and he says that eventually Miles Morales from the Spider-Verse films will be joining the MCU, and he's willing to bet a life on it. So the way we look at it so far, there's three possibilities for Miles Morales in live action. One, worst case scenario, Sony Films alone gets to handle Miles Morales. And if that's the case, well, their last four Spider-Man related films have all been rotten. So make of that as you will. The second scenario, which is the one I would hope for, is the same team responsible for Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse 1 and 2 gets to handle the live action version. Probably unlikely as once you get into the live action realm and that big of a budget, the corporate side wants more of a sort of hands-on approach, which is exactly what happens with every one of Sony's live action films. So that's out, in my opinion. And then you have the MCU solution. Sony works with Marvel Studios and brings Miles Morales into the MCU, which is, I think, what most people would want if we can't get the second scenario and the first scenario being dead last. Well, the director of Morbius recently was talking about the bigger Spider-Verse, and he says that he believes soon Miles Morales from the Spider-Verse, the cartoon from Into the Spider-Verse, that version, will just appear in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. AKA, they're just going to bring that character over as a live action counterpart. And there you go. There's your Miles Morales. Same character, just in live action now. And he kind of attributes this to the fact that this was done in the comics, which it was. They legitimately just brought Ultimate Miles Morales into the proper 616. And there you go. He's just there. And realistically, I think if Sony was smart, this is what they would do. Because then we can have multiple Spider-Men, just like they do in the comics. And they can kind of coexist and you have a mentor type figure and Miles Morales is a great enough character that if they were to do that you got this great connected universe but also you can have a mentor he's already met different Peter Parkers if the rumors stand true that Tom Holland will be appearing in some sort of fashion as Spider-Man in Across the Spider-Verse Part 1 or Part 2 that's even more of a way to connect the pieces and just make Spider-Man a bigger deal in the grand scheme of the Spider-Verse, I think everybody would win. And certainly, if we get Miles Morales in the MCU, then I think Sony can kind of relax with trying to, let's say, cater to everybody. And then they could just go and make a Spider-Man of their own for their Venom-verse or Sony-verse or Sony Marvel Spider-Man, whatever the hell it's called, and then leave the other Spider-Men untouched by Sony Taint. Now, for people wondering why would the Morbius director know this, well, he's recently been talking up the spider totems and Madam Web and all that because, quite clearly, he had to know the confines of some of the stuff he's working with and some of the stuff they're working on. So, make no mistake, Miles Morales is a billion dollar franchise once you do it in live action, and they want to do it because they see the money signs. It's just a matter of who gets to do it, and he believes it's going to be the MCU because chances are they won't drop the ball with him out the gate and then have the franchise just dead on arrival. 